Most students will use Google and Google Scholar for research at some point in their academic careers. Those students may even use Google and Google Scholar and other search engines quite often for research. But there are reasons to use library databases instead of internet search engines for research. And you already know the reasons. First, you know that search engines don't index all the articles and books that library databases do. What is in those databases is part of the deep web that search engines don't index. Second, you also know that search engines do index enormous numbers of websites that are not scholarly and should not be used for research. Let's try an example. I am going to search the same topic in Yahoo, Google, Google Scholar, Academic Search Premier, an interdisciplinary library database, and CINAHL, a nursing and allied health library database. I don't expect you to remember how to search Academic Search Premier or CINAHL from this lecture. Just get the idea of the power of library databases. The topic I will search is breast cancer and diet. I know that this topic is really too broad. A student would more likely search something like breast cancer and dietary vitamin A. But this is just an example. I'll use this phrase search to search breast cancer and then add in the word diet. Yahoo finds over 24 million matches. Google finds over 36 million matches. Google Scholar finds 206,000 matches. Academic Search Premier finds 1,087 matches. And CINAHL finds just 686 matches. So if you wonder why librarians and professors tell you to use library databases instead of internet search engines, this is the reason. It is more efficient to use library databases. And this means you save your time. And while you can limit Google and Google Scholar to some degree, library databases allow a much greater degree of refinement to your search. Let me show you. I'll go back to CINAHL. Over on the left hand side of the screen there is an area where I can refine my search. Some of those limits are listed here, but there is a button for Show More which offers many other ways to limit the 868 articles I've found. I will limit the CINAHL results to articles published in the last five years, English language articles, research articles, research that involves humans instead of animals, research that involves women instead of men, and research that involves the age group of women from 19 to 44 years of age. When I search with these limits, I have now narrowed my results to just 51 articles. Google and Google Scholar also have the ability to narrow by language and by date but they will not allow any of the other limits that library databases allow. So now you see that using library databases is not only more efficient for searching, but more effective in finding just what you need. All you have to remember is this. Would you rather search through 36 million results on Google or just 51 in CINAHL?